Tom Bauer is well known for his forensic biographies of many leading figures and has written Boris Johnson, The Gambler. Tom, delighted to have you on board. I'm going to ask you a big question to begin with. Who is Boris Johnson? Well, he is a man with a huge ambition, a man who does have a vision, a man who finds human relationships difficult, um, who has got many flaws, uh, but in the end, I think he's driven. And I think that's the reason why he is prime minister and at the moment untouchable, because he does have a, a dr dr dramatic ambition to be as famous as Thatcher and as famous as Churchill and as successful as both. Um, his misfortune is that he doesn't have a machine at the moment that can deliver what he wants. So put aside the man who, when he first came into public eye, he was damned as a liar and lazy, adulterous and unreliable and no attention to detail. The last two years have shown that on the whole, that's completely untrue. He's worked pretty hard. He's a man who really has got a vision and he has a lot of attention to detail. The problem is he has very poor human relationships. He doesn't have inside number 10, a hugely dynamic, focused, hardworking, very experienced, competent team. He has the opposite. And as far as the government machine goes, Whitehall, they're all, they all seem to be at home exercising on pelotons, looking after their cats and uh, supervising their home extensions. And all that's got to change because the country now needs a machine that will drive forward this very good agenda to level up this agenda, to modernize, to break away from the old times. But for that, he needs a lot of people who are going to implement the policies. Uh, you must have interviewed lots of people extremely close to Boris Johnson who knows Boris the man. Did you find any sort of common threads that they all said, you know, about his personality and his character? So, you know, things that you can tell us so we, the public, can get to know this man who we see on stage who brings a smile to our face but has the very serious job of running the country. Well, I think all of them have uh, different views. The, tr the problem with Boris is there's no simple answer. He is a man who, as I say, he, he finds relationships with other men difficult. His soulmates are women. Uh, they are the people who see the real man. Uh, the people I spoke to, many of them, once they get to work with him, they really do admire him. They admire his in intelligence, his intellect, and his drive. They like the fact that he trusts them. Once he appoints somebody, he likes to delegate. He likes to give them the chance to do the job. Uh, he finds confrontation unpleasant. He doesn't like stand-up rows. On the other hand, he doesn't like disloyalty. I think that his relationship with Dominic Cummings was classic. Here's a man he trusted. Here's a man who he thought he could do business with and then severely let him down. And that, of course, was horrendous for him. Uh, he's a man who is easily hurt but doesn't show it. One of the things one's got to understand about Boris is that he grew up in poverty. He's not a rich toff. He's not somebody who was born with a golden spoon. On the contrary, he was born with, if anything, grass in his mouth. And he's a man who, on the whole, loves adulation. He loves being in the spotlight. Uh, but he wants to success. He wants to be a man who is remembered by history. Uh, the problem with Boris's history is he knows lots about the Ro ancient Greeks and Romans and knows very little about modern history and modern leaders. And so he lacks the sort of the, the depth to understand the problems of modern government. And for that, he needs to appoint people who can do it for him. And his misfortune is that on the whole, he hasn't been able to find people who can do the job necessary. And it's trial and error. My experience writing about him as the mayor was, it was a great surprise. As the mayor of London, he took a city which was bankrupted by the 2008 crash and turned it into the most popular and prosperous city in the world, which he handed over to Sadiq Khan in 2016. And Sadiq Khan hasn't done anything uh, like the great things that Boris did. His problem with government was that he inherited a mess, a terrible catastrophe from Theresa May. Then it lurched into the catastrophe of COVID, and he's having to rebuild now. 
The great thing about Boris is that he's an optimist. The speech drove people to feel we can actually make things happen with this man. His problem now is his challenges to make it happen. And we'll see. I mean, it's all the time. <laughs> One never knows whether he'll deliver or not. But let me just say this about Boris. When he does deliver, as his defeat of the teachers who did not want to reopen the school, and he forced them to reopen the schools, and he never chortled, he never sings his own praises, he never humiliates the people who've been defeated, and the teachers were defeated in the end. So one's well, got to give him credit that he seeks in the whole to make people feel happy, and he wants people to be prosperous and successful. And he doesn't do it at other people's expense. The whole thing about Labour and Starmer is, he said, we're going to tax the rich. We're going to make the people with the broad shoulders suffer. Boris says the opposite. He says, we're going to make everyone get rich. We're going to make everyone benefit from levelling up. And that's why people prefer Boris to Starmer.